Hello and welcome to a new episode of our Brand Couch. And already a week after the last one, we are lucky to have, or I am lucky to have, a friend of mine here on the couch, who is uh, Kai Lindewald from a company called Wilhelmsen. And Kai, we did a global rebrand together a couple of years ago. Why? Good question. Why mm -hmm. did we do it? Well, uh, obviously we had some issues with our brand. That is, uh, it was highly diversified. Uh, because of, uh, well, uh, let's say years and years of uh, b running business. Because when you have a business with a lot of subsidiaries, uh, all these subsidiaries need to do their own take on marketing mm. and stuff. Uh, so it had developed into uh, a massive amount of sub-brands and uh, s sort of watered out the, the, the main brand mm. uh, pretty much. So we needed some help tying that all together. Could you give our listeners and viewers two words about who or what Wilhelmsen actually is? Well, uh, Wilhelmsen is a fairly large maritime group uh, that is providing uh, services and products and technical management to the merchant fleet. Mm. Uh, we don't own ships as we used to do anymore, but uh, we sort of provide everything you need for running your uh, ships, running. running your vessels, mm. yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, in terms of the actual process of a of rebranding a global company, at the same time keeping the essence of, 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 of such a long and historical brand really alive, can you sort of give us a bit of a, like a, a roadmap of, of how you did this? Or how we did that for that? Moment? Well, yeah, uh, how did we do it? I mean, first of all, uh, because it's a, uh, it's a very old company, it's mm. 160 years, uh, I, th I think it was very important for all involved to, to sort of recap everything that had happened mm. within that uh, historical uh, aspect to bring uh, the equity along, mm. because uh, that, that's what it's sort of uh, about when you uh, need to rebrand something, you sort of need to take care of the heritage within the company. So, and uh, since our main logo is a flag, a shipping flag, uh, we decided to keep that mm. because it has all the equity within it. Because people knew us as, uh, all customers knew us as more or less as Williamson. And even though we had different sub-brands and all that, uh, still the main point was that we are Williamson. You are, uh, you as a customer are dealing with Williamson. So, okay, there you said something that I thought is pretty cool because there, we, when we did this whole thing, right, at, at some point mm. during this project, we together established these three words as yeah. a key to sort of establishing a unifier. And these three words are, we are villains. Exactly. Which sounds very simple, but it does something to an organization, doesn't it? It does, it has so much power. Mm. I mean, you can use it externally, you can use it internally, and it sort of brings everybody along and says, yeah, this is cool. Uh, I mean, if you're, if you're working for Wilmson, you can say, I, I want to belong to that. Mm. I'm, I want to feel part of the family in a way. Mm. And uh, it, it's easy for a customer to identify uh, one uh, being sort of a customer for a large uh, mm. main brand instead of it being just a customer for a division or a part of a uh, very diluted in diluted way. yeah mm. so the essential part of these kind of sessions is to share some learnings right yeah. because we can all sit there and say it's been great and the <laughs> flag is the flag and we're happy and we're global and we're growing and everything's great but yeah but of course and in many ways it is but also could you share some key learnings like what worked Right? What, what, what did you change the organization? Also, what didn't work? Like, what are the things that you still, I don't want to say fight with, but, but come up as, mm. a, as, as, mm. as being sort of responsible for a brand in such a big group? What do you see as, as a challenge for other groups that try to do the same thing? What do you see? What's your, what are your learnings? I mean, one thing is the exercise in itself, which mm. is very sort of uh, uh, good for an organization yeah. to go through because from, from it has to go through top yeah. level and, and then throughout the organization, the, that's the way it has mm. to go. But uh, because that exercise in itself is very cleansing. Yeah. It's very, uh, I mean, it puts people's head back or, or, or thoughts back into the what's important. Mm. And uh, then, of course, the big challenge is how do you roll that out into right. a fairly large organization? So that, that's, of course, something that we, uh, we're still doing. Mm. 
even after five years, because uh, I mean, uh, it, it's very easy to sort of uh, create all the necessary templates and and, and the necessary brand you can items do videos, that you right? use. But yeah, exactly. Mm. But 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 still, uh, I mean, uh, what people still struggle with with I think is uh, the fact that uh, there are so many needs in an organization, mm. especially from a sales perspective. Mm. When people go out there and uh, you, let's say you're from one division within the group, and then you de they want to really emphasize the importance of their work, of course, yeah. uh, and that's where sometimes they, I think they feel that the we are Wilson part, uh, it comes a bit short because they want to emphasize their division. It becomes too and broad. Pretty it, much. it becomes maybe a bit too broad. Mm. But uh, still, there's so much equity within the master brand that they couldn't go out and do their sales stuff exactly. without that. So it, it's really important for them to also have that in the back of their head. Mm. So if you look at, um, and just to round this off a little bit, like uh, going forward, mm. you've been. This organization has changed a lot in the last five years. Right? It's been a lot about innovation. Uh, in the very beginning, we talked about energy. Um, yeah. How do you use brand with that, and, 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 and where do you see this going, going forward? Well, uh, I, I think what's really cool about uh, being in an organization, or uh, having, being in a company that, is, that has a 160-year history yeah. uh, it is that it in itself brings a lot of equity and a lot of experience mm. which again helps when you need to innovate yeah. because when you uh, partner up with which is what we're doing we partner up with a lot of uh, companies mm. and organizations uh, to sort of go where we want to go and uh, bringing our experience uh, into onto the to the table mm. uh, is essential, I think, and uh, it helps a lot. Mm. Yeah, and I think the the sort of combining let's call it a legacy player with lots of confidence, with new thinking and innovation and mm. different mm. verticals is, is very very interesting, right? So if you glass bowl, yeah. Final question, and you're off the hook. Wilhelmsen in ten years. Wow, uh, 10 years, uh, glass ball. Uh, it's going to be interesting, but I think we're going to be see a lot more of uh, our company involved in, uh, in, in the new energy markets, mm. uh, helping people, helping organizations uh, sort of accomplish uh, the road towards yeah. a greener and a, towards a more sustainable future. Mm. So sustainability, green maritime industry, very important for us right now, mm. uh, going, cool. forward. going forward. Yeah. Very cool. Definitely. Kai, uh, as always, and as always in these kind of interviews, we could talk about this for weeks. Yeah, we only and touched we, about it. Yeah, we touched the surface <laughs> of it, but I mean, they, and this is also what we do, right? Uh, I mean, obviously, the, this, is going, this is going places, and it's, I think it's very interesting to sort of hear about the implementation of a, a, a larger brand strategy that you're trying to sort of yeah. create to, to, to fundamentally change and move a company forward. Um, and I think uh, with that, I say thank you very much to Kai. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for uh, having me. And uh, hopefully see you back on the couch and uh, maybe not in five years, but maybe in a few <laughs> months. Uh, I thank you for listening and watching. And uh, next Brand Couch will hopefully be another week from now. And uh, we will see who will be on it then. Thank you very much and goodbye. <laughs>